and welcome to today's video. It is going to be something that I typically do not do and I was supposed to film this earlier. So we're working with just my natural house light because it is dark now, but it is going to be a stroller and diaper bag setup tour of what I take Disney wise. And I'm going to do this. Um, I'm just going to combine it into one video, but it's going to be um, what I take on my lighter days when I'm just going to go in and pop into the park maybe for a couple hours versus if I'm going to be staying for um, like half the day, if not longer. So let's get into it. Okay, my plan is to film a stroller set up today, but I need to desperately clean this. So because I'm going to clean it, I'm actually taking off these lights because they're just old. As you can see, they've faded and they just need to come off. But I wanted to show you these lights because when I do my stroller setup later, I will not be having them on um, on it because we just ordered some new ones. These have lasted for a really long time. They change different settings, but it's like tripped. It's like there's like a short in it. So I would recommend the next time we do it, we're probably going to do it more on like the lower end and then kind of do it a little bit differently so it doesn't short. It essentially started shorting when we went through the airport with it. They got banged up. They did not treat our stroller very kindly in the airport. So they'll be linked in the bio, but they will not be on the actual like tour of my stroller setup. As you guys seen in the clip before, this is a stroller that I used. Um, I did clean it today, so it is dry. There's still a couple of things, spots that I need to like clean up. This is the Chico, the Viaro. It fits the infant seat. So there's pros and cons about this that I can tell you in just a second. But for Disney, the biggest, the biggest, biggest, biggest con is when you fold it up. Hang on, I'll show you. It's still a little wet. I did not realize that, but um, when you fold it up, it does fold relatively slim, but not super slim. So getting on the tram is typically very, very difficult unless I can fit on one of the wider spaces up at the very front of the tram. Like each, if you've ever been on the tram, it's broken up into different sections and each section has like a very wider compartment and it works. It does fit in each of the seats. It just takes a little bit more maneuvering. Um, we have ridden this on the Skyliner and the monorail. So if, if you stay on a place where you're not going to be driving your car or something like that, this is relatively easy. It is a little bit more wider, but I do like how smooth it is. So whenever I was looking for a stroller, I wasn't really thinking vacation wise. I was first time mom. I had no clue, but I did like it because of how smooth it pushed. It pushes straight. I can push it one handed and it pushes straight. Whereas some shoulders, when I would push one handed, it took a little bit more effort. This one just kind of glides. I do like how underneath you can fit a lot of stuff. So this is really, really deep and it goes far back. So this um, I'll show you in just a second. I can fit my diaper bag down in here. Bag and there. on full park days, the day that we like took Ben's parents there. to the park and there's still we fit their water bottles. We also fit jackets because it was cool in the morning and cool at night. So everybody's jacket fit underneath here. Sophia's blanket fit underneath here and the diaper bag. So it does hold a lot of stuff and a lot of diaper bag or a lot of strollers that I've seen do not have like this deep, um, this deep compartment right here. So I do like that. Plenty of room, like you have all of that space down there and the diaper bag is just, it sits like right there. I do have the Fawn Design diaper bag to give you a perspective of how big my diaper bag is. I also do have a stroller hook. This one has seen its better days. Clearly I've had this since Sophia was like an infant, like born. So it's seen as better days through travel and everything, but I put our hydros on here. It will fit both Ben and I's hydros as well as Sophia's water bottle. So when we get off the tram, get on the tram, I'll take this off and I'll just hook all of our water bottles on and just carry it. This part also go, goes all the way back so your kids can lay back very far down. I do like this because this I can put Sophia's um, shoes when she takes them off if 
I don't put them underneath or even like bare and mini that she always takes, I put them right there. It of course does have a sunshade. I do like it because it is pretty deep as well as it can move up. So Sophia likes to move it up, especially when the sun is like directly in her eyes. Again, I just try to make it as easy and simplistic as possible. Like I will show you my water bottles. So this is what I was saying, like the hydros, they just like clip on just like that and they hang. So it makes it super easy. It's not all the way down in the bottom. It's just hanging, it's easy to lift off. I always put the hook facing me so it's easy to just kind of like slide in and out. Another pro about this stroller is it does come with these. The only thing is, is it doesn't fit. It just, it fits like standard things like your cans and things like that. But I do like this because it fits my phone and my keys. If I don't slip them in the diaper bag, it just fits my phone perfectly right here. And then there's two cup holders. And then there's also obviously two cup holders in the front. Okay, we're gonna talk about the small bag first. This is the a lounge fly that I got from Disney last year when we went. It is just very simple. I am sitting in my office. There's pictures around because we still need to pick, sort through the pictures, see what we want to hang it on the wall. So for my background. But I really go simple when it comes to this. So um, as you're gonna see, it doesn't really have like a ton, but this, keep in mind, this is what I take when we're only gonna go for like a couple of hours or even if it's just like, if it's like an evening and we're only there from like a couple, literally like maybe three hours max, this is what I take and that's that. Okay, as you can see inside is like pretty deep. There is some snacks left over, um, but I literally just take this and just add snacks to it or some type of like book or something like that for Sophia if we have some type of reservation. The side pockets are pretty slim. Can't, I really haven't been able to, you can't really fit like a cup in there. And then this pocket typically houses, um, I always bring my charge pack with me wherever I go. So it's literally like the perfect, perfect size. If you had like, if you wanted to, you could easily slip like, um, the travel size like wipes in there or something like that. If you are a mom who still uses baby wipes, I obviously, Sophia does a little bit, but I just, we tip, I just don't bring them in the smaller bag, but this is a place where you could easily put that. And then you could just always put your charge pack in the, um, this in the uh, bigger section. And then we're moving on to the big granddaddy bag. This is the bag that I've had since Sophia was born. So it has seen a lot of years and it's held up very, very well. There's minimal wear and tear on it. There is a couple spots. It does need to be like wiped down. I just usually take my thieves cleaner and just wipe it down. So any type of cleaner that you use, I wouldn't recommend like any type of bleach based products, like some mild soap or something like that. And then you can just like wipe it down. But this is, the bag. I do like this bag. I would recommend it. A lot of people don't like it because of how heavy it is. But with that being said, it has lasted me a really long time. It is a little heavy, but I also just think that I carry a lot of stuff when I'm carrying the big diaper bag. So it's going to naturally be heavy. We're going to go ahead and just dive into all the things that I have in this bag. Okay. This is from a different angle. So inside, there's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna take some of it out and then I'll just repack this. But again, I take lots and lots of snacks. So if he has a snacker, she's a grazer, so she eats all the time, all day. So I will typically pack her a, um, like a sandwich or just snacks that I know that she'll eat. So some muffins or some a pop tart and then her um, signature autograph book that she can get all of the princesses uh, or characters to sign. So Belle has signed it. We, because we go so often, we just wait till they have like shorter lines. We do, she hasn't had very many princesses sign this book because we just got it recently. When we go, I just always, if I know that there's gonna be characters at the park, like a lot of characters, I just make sure I throw it in the bag. Even if it's a small bag over there, we throw it in the bag. Her magic band, sunglasses for Sophia. And then this, this is a 
lanyard that we got at the Disney parks. Like it's it's like a it's the ones that people collect pins and they put the pins on them. That's what we got, and we added her air tag to it. So the cool thing about this is, is I also leave her air tag when she's with me, and I know that she's not gonna like disappear or whatever. Like if we're in line together, I will leave this air tag also in the diaper bag. So in case anybody happens to steal the diaper bag, I can find it. And again, more snacks. Typically take a variety of snacks um, with us. Like yesterday I took tortilla chips. She ate all of those. Just so that she has a variety. I always take things that are gonna typically fill her up like longer. So Z-bars, fruit strips, pouches different things like that. I feel like this is turning into like a food haul of like what my toddler eats. I also have this bag of liquid IVs and it also has the same pre-workout, like my pre-workout that I like. So if I don't want coffee, but I need something to give me like boost of energy, I will just put that in some water. So yesterday when we went to Hollywood Studios, it was very, very, very hot. So on our way out of the park, besides getting Starbucks like teas or anything, I went and asked for two venti cups of water and split one of these between our cups. And it gave us an extra boost of hydration as well as replenishing our electrolytes. This is not sponsored at all whatsoever. I've been a huge, huge liquid IV fan for a really long time. And then getting down to the bottom of it, I just have some random, like I have band-aids in here. And then I, my vitamins, I will pop in here have a couple and I also have some Advil in here so just in case we ever need Advil I do have some extra vitamins in here so if we're out super late at the parks then I can just go ahead and pop my nighttime vitamins in I have crayons for when we go to different places and if they only give her one or two crayons she always likes for a variety of things I have an extra pair of socks in here for her and then a thermometer I have a wet bag with some extra clothes moving on to the front okay pocket. and moving on to I this front pocket always right just carry here. a mask just in case a hand sanitizer thieves hand sanitizer some baby aquaphor for extremely chapped lips or in case sovia happens to be having some issues and then just a couple of random pins extra hair tie pocket right above it doesn't really have anything that's typically where I fit my keys in there sometimes when Tovia was taking a passy I would slip a passy in there she no longer has that so um don't have that in there anymore but typically that's where my keys go because it just fits very perfectly okay and moving on to the side pockets so there is a side pocket on either side and it does actually fit like a water bottle or something I typically just don't fit it put a water bottle in there but it will fit one but on the one side pocket, I actually have an additional charger because I forgot my charger the other day, but this one was in the car. So I need to put it back in the car as a backup. And then on the other side, because I forgot a charging cord yesterday, I ended up having to get one of the fuel rods. So now this is just gonna be an additional thing that will just always be in my diaper bag so that if I ever need to exchange it. They have them all throughout Disney parks. Then on the other side pocket, I have this Think Baby sunscreen. I always just have it slipped on the side. I just set it in there like this so that it doesn't happen to pop open and leak out. Okay, moving on to the back of the diaper bag. There is this zipper pocket in the back, but you can fit an extra change of clothes in there. So if you do happen to have multiple kits, um, it's easy for you to put maybe like the babies in here. Like if you have a couple of like toddlers, like babies or toddlers, put them, their clothes inside the diaper bag. And then like if you have a seven year old, eight year old, put like a pair of pants or extra undies just in case. And there's this nifty back pocket where we stick her tablet. This is a worst case scenario. Everybody is losing their minds scenario, like resort. Um, sometimes we'll give it to her like on our drive home so she doesn't fall asleep, things like that. 
but I do often on on full park days, I will bring this, but it slips easily, very, very easily into the bag. This also, if you're a working mom, stay at home working mom, doesn't matter. It can also fit a laptop in here, just so you guys know. I do try to make it as simplistic as possible. Most of the things that you see, I would recommend if you are coming to a Disney trip to pack. Pack snacks for your kids because there is, yes, while there is snacks in the park, those things add up and your kids could be picky eaters and they could typically want snacks all the time. A big pro tip is if your kids are popcorn eaters or if you allow popcorn in your home, I do recommend getting a popcorn bucket because you can refill it. Our popcorn buckets are in the car. That is something that I also take on the and our Disney trip, but they just stay in the car. So things like my rain, my rain cover for the stroller, my stroller fan, and my popcorn buckets, they always just stay in the car. I recommend air tags. Those would be another thing that I recommend. Like, as you can see, I recommend air tagging your kids. I saw, I've been seeing those more and more common in the parks of people air tagging their kids. They have like watches for their kids. They have little like keychain clips that they clip on their belt loops. You can get a lanyard, whatever it may be. Make it cute and fun for your kids to be able to want to wear it. Sophia loves wearing her lanyard. So that's something that we did. I'm gonna go ahead and today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this stroller, diaper bag, backpack, what I take to Disney <laughs> daily setup. And if you do, I hope that you would just like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content on Disney and just normal day-to-day -day life vlogs. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.